James, set a match for Tangerman. 6 3, 6 2. Today was, my, uh, today was my fourth match ever on the surface, so uh, you know it's nice to get my uh, my feet wet on it. I feel a little bit more comfortable today than I did the other day playing uh, my first round. I felt like my movement was a bit better, and I was kind of you know lowering the range on my ground strokes a bit. So uh, so you know it's fun, and it can be a little frustrating with some of the bounces and stuff, but it's just you know part of the part of the match, part of the surface. So uh, as long as you smile about it, I think it's it's all right. And uh, I suppose now you're inside the top 100. Does that mean you've got to qualify for Wimbledon? Uh, I still do. Yeah, unfortunately, the list came out uh, the week prior to uh, to me getting inside the top 100. So I'm about seven out right now. I don't think I'll make the cut. So uh, it'll be qualities for me. You won a Grand Slam Junior yeah. tournament, French. How hard has it been making the transition to the senior rounds? Um, yeah, I struggled a little bit to start with. Definitely, um, you know, playing pro tennis was something that was never. Uh, never you know on my list of things to do uh, my plan was to go to college and uh and that was it so the junior grand slam the french open kind of came out of nowhere for me and uh you know kind of put a lot a lot of expectations on my shoulders and uh, other people around me so i kind of struggled with it once i finally did turn pro and uh and you know i'm 22 now i'm a little bit older i'm more mature so i think i i handle myself a lot better than i did when i was say 17 18 years old but uh yeah, you know, it was it was tough to start, but you know, I just cracked the top hundred, which was a which was a goal of mine. So it's kind of every young player's first goal moving forward, and you know, hopefully, I can uh, keep moving higher in the top fifty, and and you know, so on. I suppose next for you is getting making good progress in the slam. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, you know, I I, I won my first round at the French this year, beating uh, you know Sam Query, which was which was good for me, and playing Gasquet on Susan Longlin was a. Was another really good experience. Um, so I've been getting, you know, good matches against, you know, top 10, top 20 opponents, and uh, you know, all that experience helps me at any level, and uh, you know, it helps me moving forward. What's life like on the Challenger Tour? Obviously, there's traveling, prize <laughs> money isn't great. I mean, what's it like? Uh, you know, I think it's whatever you make of it. Um, you know, look, I, I've played a lot of Challengers. I've, I've done well uh, this year and, and last year as well. So. Uh, you know, I have a good team around me that keeps it fun and, and keeps it light. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of points at stake. So if you do well, you move up, and, and hopefully sooner than later I'll be able to get out of here. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of talk in the last few months about match fixing. Has, have you had any approach? Do you know anyone who's been approached? Uh, I don't really talk about it with other guys. I've never personally been approached. Um, you know, but I've heard some stories. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's not good for the sport, obviously. Um, you know, and I think maybe in Europe here, it, it, betting is a lot more uh, you know relevant to tennis rather than in the U.S. But uh, yeah, obviously, you know, match fixing it's uh, it's not a good thing for our, our game. And, and you know, hopefully, we can uh, the tennis integrity unit can can get a crack on it. And, and you know, I think uh, you know as long as the players keep it clean, that's really all that matters. Another thing I suppose that isn't great is, is, is drugs and obviously yesterday we had the decision about Maria Sharapova. What's your take? Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, it was a tricky situation for her, I guess, with whatever she was taking. And, uh, you know, look, I mean, we get drug tested pretty regularly, so I think the tour is, uh, is, is very clean, you know. I think uh, it's just an unfortunate situation with Maria and, and that's really all I can say. Do you think there are sort of repercussions for the game, wider game? Obviously, she's such a, a massive figure in it. Yeah, um, you know, she's obviously a, a big star in women's tennis. Uh, but, you know, they have Muguruza now and Serena, obviously, and, and Venus is still up there. And I think the women's tour is, is just fine as well. And uh, looking at the men's game, obviously, you know that Djokovic winning all four slams in a row. I mean, how good is he? I think you've played against yeah, him. Yeah, I, I know how good he is. Um, I played him second round in Indian Wells this year. Uh, actually lost in three sets. I was able to take the first set. So, uh, you know, he's uh, he's unbelievable the way he moves, the way he counters, the way he, uh, you know, the depth on his shots. Every ball is so close to the baseline. He's, uh, he's a pretty robotic out there. Um, yeah, he's unbelievable. What he's done the last couple of years is I don't think it'll ever happen again. It must give you some confidence though taking a set off the best player. No, it does. It really, uh, you know, I had a slow start to the year and, and I qualified for Indian Wells, won my first round, played him, and that kind of started to change my year around. So, uh, so you know, that gave me a lot of confidence and I learned a lot from that match and I, I you know, 
took it back to the challengers and, and you know winning around at the french i've been doing uh better and better as my levels have progressed and uh you know hopefully it stays that way so what's next for you after service uh, i'm going to ilkley and then i'll play there wimbledon qualies and then that's the uh you know if i don't qualify that's the end of the trip for me if i do then i'm sticking around a little bit longer but uh I've been here since before Paris, so uh, it's been quite a long trip, and you know, after this is all over, I'll look forward to getting home a little bit. And what's your goal for the end of 2016? Obviously, you just broke into the top 100 list. Yeah, I mean, just to just to first of all stay inside the top 100. I'm unfortunately losing some points this week, so uh, you know, I'll try to gain them back here in, in the next few weeks. But uh, you know, stay there, maybe try to end the year as close to the 50 as I possibly can, and to make sure I'm main draw of Australia for next year.